As we track storms tonight, people in Noonan are still trying to recover from last week's destructive tornado. 11 Alive's Brittany Klein Peter shares the tough situation a Coweta County School District employee has faced. This community is just one of many in Noonan still reeling from the storms that hit here last week. And as more rain and wind on the way today, one resident tells me he's still trying to catch his breath. Yes, How many people do you have in the home? I've never been in a tornado before. I didn't know, but this is just absolutely unmistakable what you hear, and it's terrifying. Dean Jackson, like many others, is still picking up the pieces after an EF4 tornado left a wide path of destruction across the city. I ran downstairs, told everybody to get down, get down, and we did. And from there, it was just a minute, I think, or less, that we had uh, that right on top of us. That entire tree, 125 year old oak came down on top of that 75 year old house. Dean says that he grew up in this home with his parents before he eventually raised his own family in it. And just hours after losing his home, the father and husband had to go into work mode. I dealt with my, my professional responsibilities as best I could that night and that morning, uh, just working from my phone. Jackson serves as the public information officer for the entire Coweta County School District and has been working around the clock since last week to share information about damaged schools, work with the superintendent to check on staff, students and their families, as well as work on a plan for when the district will be back open. For now, Jackson says he and his family are staying in a rental home while they figure out their next steps. Coming up at six residents out here showing us what Noonan Strong really means.